The Bahamas just may be able to avoid a recession as fares begin to subside in the U.S. and some officials say they see no indication of a once forecasted recession in sight. Governor of the Central Bank John Rawls says with the outlook geared towards a softer landing in the U.S. and other tourism markets, the prospects for the Bahamas has improved. Still, he says there are things to be aware of. Because it means that um, those countries are standing a better chance of getting inflation under control without causing the, the economies to contract. And so that would mean that um, the, the negative impact on individuals' ability to spend or to plan for tourism and travel uh, would be uh, reduced to, to a great extent. So that's a good, that's a good thing for the Bahamas. Uh, the, the point that is still important, which we've stressed, though, is that there are costs in tourism related to the cost of transportation and the cost of electricity when they come in country. And so we have to be mindful of how those would continue to impact um, the competitiveness of the product, even if uh, individuals are not directly impacted to the same extent in their incomes. We're all adding that the economy continued to expand at a healthy rate, with the central bank anticipating above average GDP growth around 3% for 2023. As for tourism, he says gains in that area continue to be driven by pent up demands post COVID 19 pandemic. While the sector benefited from appreciated stopover pricing at hotels and rental properties, Rose says there has been some leveling off that could be attributed to limited room inventory. Based on comparisons against the pre-pandemic highs and the best seasonal performance before Hurricane Dorian, sea arrivals, which largely represent cruise visitors, have exceeded the pre-pandemic highs by an average of 40% since December 2022. However, the comparative index has not trended further upward since February 2023. In addition, since January, the seasonal recovery in air arrivals stabilized on average just 2% below the pre-pandemic comparison, so that's almost uh, equivalent to pre-pandemic levels. And over the first half of 2022, by comparison, air arrivals were still an average of 25% below pre-pandemic volumes, while the C segment still trailed similar estimates by 22%.